Earlier this month, the Supreme Court heard oral arguments in the case of a pivotal Mississippi abortion law that would make most abortions illegal after 15 weeks. Why is 15 weeks not enough time? That was Chief Justice John Roberts. A few days before on NBC's Meet the Press, Mississippi Governor Tate Reeves raised the same point. If Roe is overturned and this 15-week ban in Mississippi is, is allowed to go into effect, Mississippi will still have a law on the books in which 39 countries, 39 out of 42 in Europe, have more restrictive abortion laws mm -hmm. than what I believe to be one of the most conservative states in the United States. Is Reeves right that 39 out of 42 European countries have more restrictive abortion laws than Mississippi? Time for a truth meter Minute. Hi, I'm John with PolitiFact. If you want to support our fact-checking, you can go to our website, politifact.com, and click the Donate button to keep us strong. Reeves relied on one specific study of Europe's abortion laws. It counted the laws in a particular way. But there are other ways to count them. Let's walk through this. The study Reeves cited came from the Charlotte Lozier Institute, a center that opposes abortion. It looked at the initial cutoff point for legal abortions in 42 countries. This is often referred to as the period for elective abortions. Here's the Lozier Institute's breakdown. Five countries have an initial 10-week period for elective abortions. 27 draw the line at 12 weeks. Two draw the line between 12 and 14 weeks. For five, the line comes at 14 weeks, and for three, the elective period is longer than 15 weeks. But here's where things get a little more complicated. Many of those countries have exceptions that permit abortions after the 15-week mark. The broadest exceptions are for the woman's mental health, which can mean many things, and for her personal situation. That can include if she's a single mother with a limited income, or her age, or if she's going through a divorce. Fifteen countries have those sorts of exceptions. Then there are 11 additional countries that make exceptions for the woman's health, and the way the law is written, it could include mental well-being. This is a matter of interpretation, and interpretations can vary from place to place, even within each country. The point is, the period of a legal elective abortion might go beyond 15 weeks in these nations. We're not saying this is an exact science, but there could be as few as 13 countries with shorter cutoff points than Mississippi. If you count the 11 countries that make exceptions for the person's health, there would be 24 in that group. Either way, once you factor in the exceptions, it's not the 39 nations that Reeves said. Two last details. There are more than 42 countries in Europe. The Lozier Institute decided not to count some, including Britain, which draws a line at 24 weeks. And the number of weeks is just one part of the picture. In many European nations, it's easier to access and pay for an abortion. Time now for the rating. Reeves said 39 out of 42 countries in Europe have more restrictive abortion laws than Mississippi. He relied on a study that looked only at one part of each nation's law, the part that defined the initial time period for elective abortions. But many countries make exceptions that extend the time period beyond 15 weeks. Fold in the complete laws and the numbers change. Abortion laws are subject to interpretation, so we rate this claim half true. That's it for this truth meter Minute. You can see all our fact checks at our website, politifact.com, and you can sign up for our weekly email to help you stay on top of what's true.